How much does it cost to buy a house in Charlottesville? When buying a home, it's important to understand all the costs involved. The purchase price that you negotiate when buying a home is just the starting point, not the final amount. That's what we're talking about today. Are you ready? Hello everyone, thanks for checking out this video about how much it costs to buy a house in Charlottesville. My name is Ashley Journey and I'm a realtor with Town Realty in Charlottesville, Virginia and we want to help you move smarter. You can learn more about us by visiting our website townseville.com. Most people immediately think of closing costs when assessing home ownership, which generally makes up about 3% of the purchase price. Based on the median sales price in Charlottesville, $331,000, you might pay around $9,000. However, this is just a rough estimate. Please contact a mortgage lender for actual figures. Moving will add on an average of an additional $1,100 to $5,600, depending on whether you're relocating within the same or to another state. Typical buyers of existing homes spend around $8,200 on furnishings, appliances, and remodeling during the first year after closing, according to the National Association of Home Builders. Buyers of new construction homes spend on average $10,000 in the first year after the purchase. Don't let the extra expenses come as a frustrating surprise. I will break down the most common costs you need to anticipate when buying a house. I will highlight which are negotiable, which occur once, and which as a homeowner you might face throughout the life of your home. The first one is the down payment. Depending on the type of loan you get, your down payment could range from 0 to 20% of the purchase price of your home. The next one is mortgage insurance. Conventional buyers who make a down payment of less than 20% are typically required to purchase private mortgage insurance or PMI. The cost varies depending on the percentage you're borrowing, your loan to value ratio, but you can expect to pay between $360 to $840 annually for every $100,000 borrowed, according to Freddie Mac. However, VA borrowers don't need to purchase mortgage insurance. The next one is discount points. You might choose to pay discount points on either a conventional or government-backed loan. Discount points, also known as upfront points, or simply as points, are an upfront fee that borrowers pay to reduce their mortgage interest rate. One point equals 1% 1 of the loan amount, or 1,000 for every 100,000 borrowed. So you're probably asking, why pay more upfront? In some scenarios, the interest you'd save over the life of the loan by paying for a discount point exceeds what you would pay initially. The next one is closing costs. In addition to the down payment and any discount points, you'll also need to pay closing costs when you purchase a home. You may be able to negotiate with the seller to cover some of these fees. Here are the expenses you can expect. Loan origination fees, inspection fees, appraisal fees, surveying fees, title search and title insurance, broker fees, home warranty, transfer tax, prepaid taxes and insurance. Can you avoid any of these costs? Possibly. You could negotiate for the seller to cover some or all of the closing costs. When you make an offer on the home, you could include a condition such as seller pays closing costs or seller pays 3% of the purchase price towards closing costs. It's up to the seller to decide whether to accept that, counter it, or decline it. Now we'll get into the cost of owning. Of course the cost of buying a home is only the beginning. Once you're comfortably settled in your new home, you'll need to pay for ongoing costs related to home ownership. These include utilities, electricity, gas, water, sewer, internet, and trash service could add up to a substantial amount. The average homeowner spends between $4,600 on utilities and $745 on water and public services. Next is an HOA. Many homes are located in areas that collect mandatory homeowners association dues. These average between $200 and $300 per month for a typical single family home. Although the price varies depending on location, home size, and amenities such as a community pool or gym. The next is maintenance and repairs. Maintenance refers to ordinary recurring expenses such as lawn mowing, gutter cleaning, and carpet cleaning. Repairs 
refer to fixing anything that breaks, such as a leaky toilet. The average homeowner spends about $2,200 on maintenance and repairs. The recurring cost of homeownership may also rise over time. At a minimum, these costs are likely to keep pace with inflation. You may find yourself spending more money on repairs and maintenance as your home ages and its components wear out over time. Buying a house is just one of the biggest purchases of your life. Consider the cost of both buying and owning a home. Weighing all your options carefully and determine what will work best for you. While buying a home is an expensive undertaking, the joy of owning your home is often worth it. Thanks for watching. I make new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop it in the comments and I will add it to my next video. Bye for now. Isn't it to cover I'm up a little. That's good. Oops. <laughs> Private mortgage crap. That was the end of the sentence. <laughs> I made it sound like it's going to go further.